Oh, it's me, Brian. I'm sissy. <laughs> this morning, uh, we were out here working on the fence, right? And we have we discovered a little problem with the little predator auger machine. Uh, now, now this this uses a little, you know, two-stroke engine, right? It runs pretty good. It's a predator. I mean, they're really good little engines, really good little machines. They make good stuff. But anyways, this is a common problem with all little two-stroke engines and it's, and it's associated and related to you two-stroke you know bicycle guys right you know speeder bikes and all that stuff you know what i'm saying right it occurs over time due to the vibration of the little engine you know what i'm saying especially when you're using it under high rev you know high rev you know something like this one is an auger you gotta you know get it going it's like a chainsaw you gotta get it going to get it to do its job right so here let me explain you know since i explained what the problem is let me show you what we're looking at here is the intake manifold, right, and then the carburetor assembly, and then the backy plate for the air box, right, with the choke assembly, right, okay. What has happened is, is that you can clearly see that the intake manifold has come loose, right, from its housing, right, and now it's sucking air through this gap and it won't start. Common problem. Right, you see, two strokes operate on a seal. They they need to be sealed both both at the intake side and the exhaust side. It, it's got to keep. That's how the whole thing works because there are no valves and stuff. Right, so well, how do you fix this thing, Brian? Well, it's pretty simple. You know, first you take off the air box. Right. Secondly, you understand you, you want to make sure that you're dealing with all of the. You know, you have all of the correct tools. Because right here I'm dealing with three different types of fasteners. This one is a Phillips. These ones are a standard number four Allen key. And then the intake manifold screws, which is this one right here. That one is a star key. Right? So I went and got the star key set. I did. I thought I did. All right, right. There it is down there. So I went and got the star key set. You know what I'm saying? So that I could take it apart. So I know what I'm doing, right? Because these little, these things are made out of Chinesium. I mean, they're a good machine. These, these ones, this brand is actually good, right? But you're still dealing with Chinesium parts, so you got to be careful with what you're doing and be mindful. Like I said, first thing you want to do is you want to disconnect the switch, the on-off switch, you know, from the wires, right? And take the screw out of the air breather, right? Take the air breather out. You know, yeah, this probably needs to be cleaned. And then put the screw in your pocket so you don't lose it. All right. The next step is get your Allen key, right, and unscrew the two bolts that go through the intake mat, through the carburetor and the intake mat bolt, right, and then to hold it still, all right, so we can get the plate off. Do it slowly, see, you know what I'm saying? You never know when anything's gonna happen, all right? You got it all day, you came out here to use the tool, you know what I'm saying, so you planned on working all day, right? All right, let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Set that baby down. Okay, now the carburetor is loose, right? But we want to get into these two screws down here in the bottom, right, so that we could tighten them up with them. Remove the little gasket because it's going to be in your way. The surfaces for the gasket right here looks pretty good and it ain't, you know, messed up or nothing, right? You want to wipe it off, maybe? Make sure that it's at least fairly, you know, dry. There's no debris that's going to go down the hole. Uh, the hole looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, because it's pretty scungy. This, this tool works in the dirt. All right, so... You want to make sure they're square, straight up with, you know, where it's supposed to be with, and then tighten them down. I would I'm going to tighten this one first. 
What's up, dude? Anyways, look, gasket. See it? See the two little holes at the top? This gasket is, is, is like a universal gasket piece, right? And only one of these holes is in use, right? Because it's, you know, it, it opens up the port for the gas to flow in. But this other one doesn't line up. So make sure that when you line up your gasket that you get it put in the right place. Otherwise, you, you just defeated the whole process. Take your intake plate. Get one a little bit started, just like that. There you go. All right. Make sure your gasket's lined up because that's the whole problem. You know, we're sucking air. There we go. Halfway, do the other one. Halfway, make sure everything's lined up so it seats right. Go back to the bottom one. So it stops. So it stops, right? And then look, real simple. Right. Have a turn. Gotta clean the little foam because it's pretty scungy. Right? And then, and then we put that back together, put the connector switch back on, and then we'll see if it lights. Sorry about the wind noise if there's any of it, but anyways, to get back to where we was, right? So I cleaned you saw me cleaned out the air cleaner, you know what I'm saying? We washed it in the gas, right? Cleaned out the little thing underneath, right? You know, got it all, got the scuzz, everything out from underneath. Make sure the little choke mechanism is working right. Right. Uh, prior to all of this, I pulled the spark plug out and I cleaned it off with a wire brush and I have to pop the gap out a little bit just to make sure. Right. So, and put some new fresh gas in it. Right. Because the reason it quits is because it ran out of gas in the first place. <laughs> and the intake manifold was loose. Now it's all good and tight and solid. So, we're going to flip the switch on, give her a few squirts from the bubble. Uh, three or four, maybe five. Right. Give her a few pulls and see what happens.